I see people get shot. People get beaten up, you know. People stealing from other people, you know. Yeah. Alright guys, it's Action Jackson and today I'm here with my man George. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, sir? I'm making it, man. I'm making it. I'm trying to so, make it one day at a time, brother. Exactly, man. So tell the people, like, what was your, your upbringing like? Well, I was born in Cuba. You know, and I grew up in Spain. Okay. And I come, came to the United States when I was 14. I'm 61 now. You know, I got two bad knees. I can't work because every time I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get a disability. Yeah. But I can't get it because I don't have no ID. And in the last 10 years, I'm paying on the, on the table. You know? So I'm taking care of my roommate. He's disabled. That's why I'm not homeless. You know. You know. So it's just a lot of financial trouble going financial on. Financial trouble, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be the doing. Fact that trying you, to make a couple of dollars, you know. The fact that you came from Cuba and you can't get your your ID, right? That's made it difficult for right. you. I, I lost my ID of maybe 20 years ago, and uh, I don't have a car. So what do you need in Naripa? Do you need in Naripa so I can get a job? You know, in a restaurant. I used to work in restaurants all the time. I'm a good cook, and uh, the job I want now is kind of. Just, you know, washing dishes, something simple. Yeah. You a good cook, George? I used to be a good cook, man. I used to work at the Village Cafe down the street over here for seven years, man. What you be cooking? Just American food. <laughs> American food. You yeah. making the good Cuban food? Oh, you know, I used to back in the day, but you know. Yeah. I used to make good, good Cuban sandwiches. Hey, George, what's some of the hardships, man, you didn't seen since you've been on the street? Or well, I seen uh, I seen people get shot, people get beaten up, you know, people stealing from other people, you know. Yeah. And uh, but you know, I'm an alcoholic, you know. I be uh, I, I grew up with an alcoholic family, you know, especially my father, you know. My father still he lives in Miami. I live in Miami for a little while, about ten years. Okay. Yeah. What was it like growing up in an alcoholic family? Oh, well, when I was in Spain, my grandparents had a ranch and they made wine. They had, you know, grapes and all that. So my grandmother used to sneak me wine once in a while, you know, and then I got a little taller. I knew where the wine was, you know, and um, I was sneaking in there, you know, not much, you know, you know but the, the wine my grandfather used to make there. Best wine, okay. It's pure, you know, not, not like the the wine here, you know. They they cut a lot, they cut a lot of stuff, you know. Wow. But that was good wine, you know. And I, but I haven't I haven't heard from them since I was fourteen. You know? Wow. And my father, me, my, me, and my father didn't get along because he divorced my mother. My mother had to stay in Spain, and I had to live with him to come to the United States. You know? Wow. Yeah. Was it any like abuse going on? Abuse? No. With the alcohol? It's like many alcohol abuse, you know. Okay. It's just many alcohol abuse. You know, I, I, I think, uh, I don't I don't think I got spanked. I don't remember. <laughs> you know, but uh, I ran away a couple of times, you know, you know, when I came into the United States, you know. I lived in a place called Virginia Home for Boys for a while, you know. I couldn't get along with my dad, so my dad had threw me away, you know, kind of told the court I can't handle him. I was a juvenile, so they put me in the foster home. Oh. But I, I was too old to get in the foster home, so sent me to a boys' home. What was it like in the boys' home? Oh, it took care of you, good, you know. That's how I ended up at J.R. Tucker High School, you know, in her record. Yeah, good know. school. Yeah, good school, yeah. I graduated in 1980, you know, and then I wanted, I wanted to go to uh, college, but uh, my grades were not good my senior year. I was a soccer player. Okay. I played soccer real good. I made yep. all state, you know, all colonial district, you know. And then my my senior year, I just messed up drugs and alcohol, you know. And I, I started flunking, but I did pass. I had, I had enough. I want to go to the University of Virginia. Oh, yeah. Or BCU, you know. Back in the day, BCU was a little cheaper. It's expensive now, you know. I know but it I wanted to go. 
I want to go to UBA because uh, UBA won two state, two national championships. I'm sorry, two national championships. And uh, but uh, but I went to the su summer camp, and uh, and uh, a coach named Bruce Arena. He was the uh, national coach, you know, the United States coach. Yeah. And uh, I just went to the camp, you know, but they had so many players there. I was, uh, I guess, I didn't make it. Oh, man. But I, but I, you know, but that was my good years. You know, I mean, I, I, at least me and my dad didn't get along. But, uh, but I told myself when I was at Virginia Home for Boys, I graduated. That's my main thing. And then I just because my grades, my senior year was so bad, I couldn't go to college, man. But uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Have you ever been um, married or in any yeah. relationship? Yeah, I've been married. Yeah, when I was 21. <laughs> how did how did that go? It was three years. I was, we were young, you know. Yeah. We were in the early 20s, you know. She wanted kids. I didn't didn't want to kiss back then, you know. But, you know, I, I was you know okay. I was a meat cutter too, you know. I just okay. cut meat, you know, you know, Publix, you know, a good, a good uh, store. But you know, I just went got the job, you know. I was never this table, you know. Yeah. I was never this table. You know. I've been homeless before, you know, and, and with my friend that I'm taking care of now. Yeah. He, still, he was okay, you know, but he had an accident and hurt his back, so he's uh, not paralyzed, but he's in a wheelchair. So he took care of me. So now I gotta take care of him. <laughs> I understand yeah. that. Hey, George, yeah. before we get out of here, yeah. what's your what's your goals for the future? Let's make it one day at a time, man. Stay alive. Stay in alive. That's the main thing. You got any um any advice for the for the people watching? Anything you want to say to them that they should know about George? You well, know, one thing I, I suggest, you know, for the kids, stay in school. You're supposed to get a go to college. You know, I never went to college and I, if I would have went to college, maybe I, my my goal would have been different. You know, my, my direction would be different. And I, I, married, I had it, my marriage was good, but I just, I got caught cheating. <laughs> I'm a man, man, I was 20, 22, 23 years old. Yeah. You know, because she was going out with her girlfriends, I was going out with my boyfriends, you know, my, my friends, you know, that, you know, and, uh, and, I, and I, I, I drank so much that I, I got busted. I took the girl I was going, you know, for the bed with to my apartment, and she was in. <laughs> It's how stupid I was, man. Yeah, it happened, you know. So then I, we were trying to work it out and all that, but you just, uh, you know, I want in both worlds. You can't have both. When you're married, 100% of marriage, you know. You screw up, so you know what? I mean, I've still, you know, it's been years, I still love her. I don't know what happened to her. I heard she went, went to Virginia Beach, you know. But uh, I miss her, man. I wish I was still married. My life would change. If I had a kid, my life would have changed. I should have had a kid. <laughs> well, we just wish her the best, right, George? Yeah, we wish the best to the people, man. Especially if she get kids. to see this, yeah. she'll know that how you feel. Right. Right. And she might she might get to see this. Yeah, she might, she might yeah. She's about 60 now. I'm 61, you know. You still you still kicking, George? You still I'm trying, kicking. We're trying, my friend. Hey George, yeah. do it do I have your permission to put this on YouTube? Yes, sir. Hey, put it, I, in, put it on YouTube. Maybe I see it. Yeah. Hey George, I appreciate your time, man. You have a you have a good day, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you.